Good morning, ESM students. Today is October 2nd, a day 1-3, and we're going to start it off with news with Olivia. Early this morning, President Trump revealed that he and the First Lady had tested positive for coronavirus, putting the nation's leadership in a position of uncertainty, uncertainty and intensifying the calamity posed by the pandemic. Mr. Trump will be quarantined in the White House for an unstated amount of time, which will force him to withdraw at the minimum temporarily from the campaign trail only 32 days before the election. The White House has canceled his plans to fly to Florida for a campaign rally, removing his public schedule besides a call on COVID-19 support for vulnerable seniors. His appearances at rallies in Wisconsin and Arizona seem to be also be canceled, and the next debate has been left in the air. On Tuesday, President Trump and Vice President Biden participated in the first presidential debate of this election season. The debate, which was roughly two hours long, was filled with personal attacks and interruptions, which came more frequently than any substantial political discussion. Chris Wallace, the moderator of the debate, stated that he believed that the debate was a terrible missed opportunity and that the debate was not serving the country well. In response to the chaotic debate, the Commission on Presidential Debates has decided to change the rules to better allow both candidates to answer questions properly and to avoid interruptions. Due to the fact of constant plastic waste we create per day, some soil mi microbes have adapted to eat the abundance of plastic around them. While researching these microorganisms, scientists accidentally made a microorganism that can eat 20% more plastic than its natural version. These microorganisms can munch through a plastic water bottle within days rather than the upwards of, a hun of hundreds of years. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seniors, please check your email for an important message regarding choosing a senior ball venue. Watch the attached video and vote using the Google form. The form is closing on Friday, October 9th, so please vote soon. Contact Mrs. Kiwanis, Ms. Maniga, or your office officers if you have any questions. ESM, we need your help with getting you, our YouTube channel up to 1,000 subscribers in the next week to live stream out sporting events for you to watch at home. We currently have 550, and anyone who subscribes will automatically put into a drawing for a $25 Visa gift card giveaway. You can subscribe to, our, to the YouTube channel from now until this upcoming op Thursday, October 8th. To be entered, and the winner will be announced on Friday, October 9th. Good luck. Today will be chilly with sun, sun and clouds and scattered afternoon rain showers reaching a high of 61. Saturday will have a few possible lake effect showers mainly in the morning and it will get sunnier as the day goes on, reaching highs in the mid 60s. Sunday will be cool with a few showers in the afternoon with a high of 60. Monday will have a high of some showers highs, and highs in the mid to upper 50s. Tuesday will be breezy with mixed sun and clouds and a high of 67. Wednesday will be windy with showers and up highs in the low 60s. And Thursday will be cool and have a high of 54. I'm Nicole with your weather.
The LA Lakers and Miami Heat take the floor for game two of the NBA Finals at nine o'clock tonight. Last night, the Denver Broncos got their first one of the season against the New York Jets, 37 to 28. Denver backup quarterback Brett Ripon threw a 242 yards and two touchdowns in the win. The New York Yankees, Tampa Bay Rays, Houston Astros, LA Dodgers, Atlanta Braves, and the Oakland Athletics have all won their wild card series to move on to the divisional round series. And in fantasy football news, some notable waiver wire targets for your teams this week, including 49ers running back Jeff Wilson, Jr., Colts tight end to the Mo Alley Cox, and Raiders wide receiver Hunter Renfro. So, from uh, everybody here at the morning show, as well as Chris, uh, we'd like you to have a great rest of your day and a lovely weekend.